There we go. All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be yes, a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. As well as... Gary Mate Rom. And no, they haven't updated my picture yet. <laughs> no, uh, he hasn't been enlisted into the Colonial... He hasn't enlisted into the Colonial Marines just yet. <laughs> he has a plonka helmet on his head. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting you to really show up for this stream, but you're welcome all the same. And yeah, welcome <laughs> back to Alien Isolation, where, well, last time... Uh, last time we discovered something really fucking funny about the ending of the first stream. And uh, yeah, also... Uh, yesterday it was announced that a sequel to this game is in pre is in early production or early development, whatever. It's in the pre-alpha of the pre-alpha stage. Yeah. It's been made. And it was only last week I spoke about it would be lovely if they decided to remake it after so many years to just seeing from the fan base that they actually want it. Yeah, a sequel is better than a, than a remake then. Though, to be honest, I don't think this game really needs a remake. Yeah. It's not... Well, okay, it's old, but it has been well enough. Okay, so I'm not the only one who's just realized, oh, right, Greg shows up whenever we just turn on the thingies, right? Y yeah, now <laughs> we've realized that. <sighs> I can't love you actually settled with calling the thing Greg. <laughs> Anyways, let's try it again. I was a bit confused as to how far we actually were with powering these, but that just confirmed I didn't power either of them. Also, running is a bad idea, as a certain new clip showed, huh? Because that tends to lure him in real fast. Yes, as you're probably louder when you're running. Yeah, and well, sound attracts the damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. Along with fear. Yes, they can okay. smell or sense fear. Yeah, since I, mm, they, they must have a quote-unquote nose of a sort. It, yeah, there it's showing again. Okay. Now where? Oh, there he is. There's Bali. <coughs> Okay, and Greg's moved on. Are you okay? Ripley? Not now. <laughs> I would say this. That's probably the best mo uh, version I've seen so far yet with the wall. Not now in the microphone or whatever she uses for. Yeah. Usually when you see people do that, saying not now in a phone and trying to be tested, if they're speaking in a more casual voice. She actually whispers. Yeah. Which is a plus. There, there, and there. Okay. I'm presuming if we mess it up enough times, it'll just start a freaking. It'll just start a freaking uh, alarm somewhere. Ah, damn it. The fucker saw me. Okay, but did he? I don't think he saw me get under there, even though he's staring me dead in the face. <laughs> yep. It, can he just not leave there or something? Yeah, Greg is in the vent there. It sees you. Not sure why. Can he just. Yeah, yeah he just can't leave there. <laughs> okay. Look out for Greg. Also, uh, yeah, flashes. Also uh, We're gonna have to change yeah. this on the. I think the robots told us to not run. Yeah, thank you. We know. We know what happens when we run. Now I was gonna say we're gonna have to edit this so the flashes don't, uh, or put up a warning. Yeah, it's only minor so far. Yeah. yeah. We will, as you should always look out for when it becomes a little bit... Too much? Yeah. 
I think Greg found someone else. Yeah. Poor bastard. Anyways, moving on. Uh, yeah, moving on into the closet. Yep. And of course he goes for a nap in the fence now. Of all times. Okay. We didn't grab that yet. Okay. Also, nice little design bit to have these light up when you haven't interacted with them. And I'm going the wrong way. There's... Oh dear. Oh, I can't tell if that was him getting out or not. That's him getting out. Mm. All right, I have learned something I think you should take note of, Captain. Who? Oh. <laughs> they, they will find you eventually if you keep uh, hiding <laughs> in the same spot over and over. I did, I saw it, I said that last time. All right. Let's see your rum. Thanks. I don't think Greg heard you sneeze. I can't tell if the fucker's just sitting still or not. I think he's trying. He I think he he's laying in ambush. But yeah, he was fucking waiting for me to get out. Fucker smart. It is smart in a different way, Petros. <laughs> cruel. Hoping against hope he doesn't see us here. Wait, what? Oh, yes. I but think he's in the fence. Yeah, but you know what happened is, mod. They may not build technology and all that, but if they see someone push a button, for example, long enough, then we put one and one together. Yeah. And they all know how to make you afraid and uh, actually intentionally be cruel to you just for the, uh, the fun of it. Yep. I was just about to get out. You are one lucky mother. Never mind. I thought he jumped. I thought he got into the vents just as that guy popped up out of fucking nowhere. Uh, this Holy. is going to be a dead end, isn't it? It's not. Okay, good for me. Yeah, bad for who is ever whoever yeah, whoever is left in this hellhole. Like you? Are we dead? Holy shit, we lived! I think we'd rather be dead. Uh, okay, looks like the only reason we're not is because one of the explosives failed. Okay, uh, where the fuck... Okay, I'm just going to follow whatever green I see. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, where can I even... Is there... 
Ooh. Is there a second exit here? No, I... Okay, where the heck am I supposed to run to then? This is locked. That's out completely. Uh, <laughs> this would be a bit more tense if I actually knew where to go and I heard him hiss. Let's not stay too close to the flames. And I very much doubt that that killed Greg, other because then there'd be a big acid hole somewhere. This is. Yep. My name is Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But look, Doctor, I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital recently. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm freelance. Unbiased. I don't have any corporate affiliations. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. Yeah, that's shut. Okay, seriously, what am I expected to do? We need to get through this door, but the door is locked and I don't see anything to open it with. Let's... No, there's no overwrite. Mm. Okay, seriously, what is expected of me here? I, I get Are that there's afraid? probably like a lockdown because of that. Wait. Is that Fang Extremes or something like that? No going through that door. Seriously, where am I? Uh. Oh. Wait. Don't. Really? This has got to be. She should be burning her hands off of this with how close it is to the fire, unless it's made out of plastic or something, in which case, it'd be molten. I just love adrenaline. It may have an... It, it could be a metal that doesn't heat up uh, that quickly or something like that. Oh, and it, what? Really? <laughs> okay. So, now not only do we need to do all of that again... But now we can also just fail because of stupid quick time events that just instantly drop you to your death. Uh, they could at least put an auto could have put an auto save at the fire. Uh. That I agree with that the auto save should at least be at those moments. Okay. Okay, Baldi's getting out, we'll come take a look, then he heads off, then we set the wind, yeah, then we drop the power. Alright, I forgot to ask you both something today. Yeah. Um, how are you two today? I'm doing, doing well. Fine. That's good to hear. Why were there two signatures for a second there? I thought I saw two androids. Oh. Yeah, there is a second one in storage, but they are not moving. Oh, the other one was laying down. No, that's a corpse. Yeah, that's what I meant, that the other person I thought I saw was already dead. Okay, I'm a bit curious how well the stun gun would work on the androids, probably not as well. Either way, uh, that, that, and that. Okay. 
Now we hide. The worst thing about it is, is that, well, the, <laughs> Greg has an advantage on us now with the noise, since it, it hides noise sounds like that. Is there no other way around here? There's through there, through emergency. Yep. No, there's not. Okay. At least Greg fucked off out of this hole. Yeah, it's one of the armed guys there. It... It's probably not... Yeah, too late. <laughs> Well, thanks for trying to help me there, gun guy. <laughs> it didn't help too much, though. Holy. So give me a second. I think something is a bit off. Hmm? Uh, okay, not too off there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, half, half the fear in this game isn't just of the freaking Xenomorph, but also from losing progress you make. Because there's quite a bit of distance between these safe stations each time. Also, when we're doing this, are we removing the power cells? Because it looks more like we're inserting them. I think you're inserting them. Could be that we're overloading the place. And it's only supposed to have one with the other being backup for when the first runs out. Which is, well, how any place that should require continuous power should run. Because when number one is empty, number two can be put in place, number one can be replaced, and that becomes the backup. Though. I haven't seen Frag in that vent any of the times we've we done this. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there, and there. I, I do have to say that I'm getting a bit tired of doing this over and over again. I don't blame you. Understandable. Wait, is that the A save station there? Why do I call them save station? Oh, is it no, a medical it's... thing? Next one is over there at the security desk. I should probably head for that. Oop. Dragon ambush. Okay, as long as we don't walk right underneath it. And they don't drop. I haven't seen them drop out of that one. Okay. 
Okay, the gun guys are spread out. And well, as, as soon as we hear gunfire, we can assume that they ran into Greg. Who seems to be sticking in the vent. Wait. How? How? Huh? What? <laughs> did I teleport? Okay. No, the, how did he not see us? Cure lock. Also, also, that was just a Looney Tunes level of people missing each other. <laughs> if he'd gone right, he'd run right into, uh, now, right? into him. Well, now someone's not here. Yeah. Well, as at quick least as they make for a good and distraction. Yeah. Would that be cut as ironic? As quickly he shot the gun, he was already dead. Yeah. Yep. And he just went into the vents. Okay. Also, are we close to the safe station? Yep, there. Okay. Still a bit annoyed that I completely forgot about that, that that would happen the moment we got close to it. Okay. Yeah, just because this thing won't, uh, can't be used if enemies aren't, near, if there are enemies nearby, doesn't mean that they can't find us in the few moments it takes to save. Yeah. I think he found some other playmates. Okay, he was just down that way there. And now he's on... He is really agitated from the sounds of it. He's ducking in and out. Yeah, he is really agitated. off you oversized latex loser I'm pretty sure him dropping down here is scripted to just fuck with us he dropped out there each time, I think. Very likely. I'm pretty sure he's laying in ambush again. Not leaving. Those were more muffled. Okay, 
with how fast that was moving, I thought it was an event. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to need to use a, a noise maker. What? Okay, I, I thought you could use the scroll wheel in there, but nope. Oh. You've not the so time to make one. But daggers can't be choosers. I'm pretty sure he, he. If I didn't throw that, he'd have found me. Possibly. Likely. So I'm pretty sure the more you use those things, the less effective they become. And I don't remember how many I've used without having to reload. Did they send a did they send a trap with video with image recognition or something? Because it's not some sort of tripwire or something. It, I'm pretty sure. I think the cameras were set to blow the place up if it's if they spotted the xenomorph. Okay, let's do this without failing this time. Also, I think we're slowly losing health at some bits here. Why did you think climbing the, where the fire is centered would be a good idea, Amanda? Keep going. You can make it. Okay, I, I was expecting it. I was expecting another button mash there, but, but instead we get it here. Well, I guess she goes this way, of course, everything else down there is closed. Yeah, except for the one place that's a dead end. Uh, but yeah, uh, we don't want to stick around and just get boiled in these. Because, well, hot air rises, so this place has got to be cooking right now. So that's not going to do any favors for the structural integrity of this place. But little it had left. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, at least we got away from Gregory. Just where the hell did we end up? Also, uh... There... Okay, nice that it also shows how far it'll fill up. There. Yes. Okay, where the hell are we? Yep. <laughs> right past we were where we wanted to be. Okay. Out of here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fastest way, yep. Map terminals may will add unexplored locations. Oh, great. It's already spreading. Did anyone bring s'mores? Marshmallows? Okay. I knew I forgot something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't bring... I didn't bring the s'mores. Uh, there are some sausages, uh, green sausages even, that I could use. Okay, I thought the map said that there was a side passage there, but nope. 
It, no, those are just why. I, for a second, I thought there was a fucking corpse in here. Though, to be honest, I am fully expecting to find at least one oh. corpse in the vents. Someone crawling in here whilst, when everything went to shit. Yeah, and also, that was I be surprised. Was that ethanol? Yep. AKA booze. <laughs> oh, so it was, but I was pulling it was a beer can up here. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Again. There's a piece missing. I need to fix that. Compression slither to repair the element. Great. Great, we've got another batch of nutcases. Dead ends. This place is full of dead ends. Okay. Mahoney, thank God. We got jumped. Looters. We're trapped. Elevators out. We don't know where to look. Who the fuck requisitions Android? Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. <laughs> Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an Android in the warehouse should be fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay, Francis out. Asshole should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. Well, I guess we know of a spot that'll at least be safe from them. Right now, there's even more rattling around. Getting even more noises to just catch me off guard. So, what do we do now? Hold on. Let me think. What did you think that noise was we heard earlier? Sounded like an explosion. I figured that out, genius. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges, can you believe that? He's gotta be crazy. Maybe that's the answer. I heard that Waits has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We could go there. Did you not hear what I said? Crazy fuckers blowing stuff up. No thanks. We're running out of options. Then shut up and let me think. Yeah, when all options you have are bad options, you're going you to have to have pick to one. Oh dear. Is there really no way out of here and only bits of loot? So you're not alone. Something hurt the shots. Or am I just missing the overhead panels? So there's so much stuff here that I'm going to make some stuff. Uh, yeah, we should make another one of these. This whole station's got this shit. We've only done what we had to. Uh, Seriously, where's the other ways out of here? Or is, that, is there only one way into this crawl space? <coughs> Zoom tight. Thank you. Bless you again. We shouldn't have done that back there. I know we're hungry, but man, this feels so wrong. Yes, uh, that's supposed to be. Are they turning to cannibalism already? Already, we, who knows how long this has been going on? Okay, here's the out. So, what's all that rattling? Remind me why I agreed to this contract. Closer than I expected. Would like an option to peek out of the ladders. I think I got a better option for the for my character. Look, give me a minute. Be anywhere. Okay, we 
don't even know what direction to go into here. Yeah, that's about as good as a Colonial Marine I can get on Hero Forge. Okay. <laughs> Just missing the beard. Yep. They told me to shave it. Heretical. Okay. Looking it up on the phone, or at least I'm trying to whilst while trying not to die. Um. I could, I could, call, I could just throw a noisemaker down and get uh, Greg to kill them, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if he, if he gets shot at, he gets a lot more annoyed and more eager to find us. Let's see pictures. Okay, at least we have a map now. Uh, fifty percent cloning marines, fifty percent imperial guard. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Error. Uh, sir, report smite uh, head of the synthetic development. I just received schematic for the one twenty A eight. Don't know how how much we paid our mole, but the Sikhs on board is gonna need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems all tech for you know, Wayland Yutani, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our, <clears throat> our key executives and shareholders won't listen, but we need investments. The company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a mole in Wayland Yutani. Okay, for a second I thought, <laughs> like, were they? Yeah. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Yutani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ransom out. Uh, is it only one that this place is falling apart? Ah, there. Yeah, the suits. Smoke bomb. Not sure how good a smoke bomb would work on something that doesn't have fucking eyes, but at least it should keep us away from gunfire. Less likely to be hit by gunfire. Yeah, I'm sure as well. Uh, working Joe Spiel. Russell, here's my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Is Spedding? Uh, Spedding will hang me out to dry. For a second, I thought I was a. <laughs> it's to be a noun, not a name. <coughs> hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of this West Sevastopol synthetic solution. Uh, next up on your tour will be the Sistech, uh, Inspire, and the Apollo Core itself. But first, an example of Android self governance. When Apollo synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe it is the first rollout of fully automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention. No human expertise required. No costly human surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo and every incision guided in its logs. Or rec recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. Decent spiel, at least. Russell upstairs wants a full rundown on what uh, we've got stacked, uh, stacked, yeah, stacked in component storage. There's some useful stuff in there, uh, some junk. They want value estimates too, and nothing else on this one. Okay, so where procedure? Okay, Greg is really active in the vents now. Just making up, ugh, making. All sorts of noise. Hmm. Also, something I just realized: if uh, <laughs> if Greg had been killed in the explosion, a man that would have been showered with acid. Yeah.
I don't know what cameras they are talking about, but we should probably stay away from them as well. That was a very close signal. No, just freaking glue. I think that's movement from in the vents. Okay, one way to find out. Okay, can I not? There. Bit odd there. Uh, hard to get her. Seagan Sun proved to be the backbone, the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, providing reliable components that could carry humanity deep into space. In so doing, it grew and by 2066 was running vast manufacture plants in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, and the lunar. Lo the moon. Yeah, yeah, I was more wondering how the hell to say that name. Uh, Frontier. Luna. Luna. Uh, not lunar, the, the one after <clears throat> the no. name. Um. <clears throat> Uh, by 2071, the year the Sikh family sold its shares back into the company, its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy as Sikh and Son became market leader, uh, the market leaders manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Toward the end of the last century came a move that would uh, forge our shared future. Sikh and Son became Sikhson. We took on the name our customers had known us by for decades, and we turned to face tomorrow together among the star. Yes. Okay, so the original founders just bailed the fuck out. Yeah. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sebastopol's working Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs Sheiks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spreading out. Isn't this supposed to be the warehouse? Um, oh, no. This is just component storage. And Joe storage from the looks of it. Okay, is this the one we need to wake up? Yep, of course. Just one problem after another. Ooh. Okay, is there a generator somewhere around here? Um, okay. Yeah. Why? Why not? Would you prefer they be stored in cardboard boxes? Um, I think I would prefer them to have a... Uh, Zipped it up? The zipper fully up. <laughs> What the? <laughs> uh, hello, Je hello, Jess. And thank you for the raids. Uh, oh, just upgraded this thing. What okay. The heck? <laughs> okay, that was almost a perfect time to jump scare us there, Jess. Uh, give me a second. No, no, they uh, didn't jump scare me. <laughs> okay, new batteries there. Collect that and I just hide on the here for a second. But while I give you a shout out. Oh, okay. hello, yes. Uh, bonus, yeah. Hello, Merly Whirly. Uh, let's see, exclamation SO. Let's see, what were you up to? A Plague Tale Requiem. Okay, oh, and thank you for the follow, Merly Whirly, and I will hope you enjoy the show in the future. <laughs> and yeah, I, I doubt this game needs introduction. Welcome to Alien Isolation, where, well, Amanda may be, yeah, Amanda may be isolated, but I am not. <laughs> Compound B. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're being hunted by a fucking xenomorph. And, well, there's an AI revolution going on as well with these fuckers. Not like the AI revolution we had to deal with before. <laughs> I think we call these <laughs> sleeping bag pharaohs. I, I get the feeling... I get the feeling someone zipped these down just to fuck with someone in storage who doesn't like being stared at. It would make sense. Okay, let's see. Merly, pretty sure Jess is also an alien. 
<laughs> now aliens are scared of me because I have a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> There's movement out there, but these vents screw with the scanner. Let's see. You just need your viewer count for your affiliates. Uh, yeah, that is the one hurdle, uh, hurdle that I have with it, I believe. Yeah, this is just going back in here. I thought it would lead somewhere else. And I, okay, I'm being a bit cocky now. Of course, immediately I hear movement the moment I start walking around. Yeah, no worries, I, can, yeah, I can't stay, but I'll leave my square, spare PC lurking you. Have a date with Diablo 4. Uh, not too sure if that is against Twitch TOS, but yeah, you're welcome to lurk if you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need to risk going up here. Uh, where and when was the last save? Oh, the Oscar question. Uh, let's see. Is what against TOS? Uh, you know, using uh, yeah, using a spare computer to keep on a, a lurk or something, but I don't know. Twitch's TOS <laughs> just switches like every half month or something. You <laughs> not going in there? Okay, someone farted and forgot the air out the place. Uh, what? There, 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 okay. Let's see, not at all, okay. But, yeah, Twitch does tend to be rather twitchy with their uh, <clears throat> terms of service and everything. Okay. Let's see, you can watch three times at the uh, same time and it counts towards a view. Okay. There is a specific site that allow that is for watching multiple streams on one uh, on one window or something. Uh, haven't heard anything about them getting pulled down or anything. <clears throat> uh, let's see, requisitions, androids, spitting. Now you fired me. You know, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging. So use the requisitions, androids. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me, Smythe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best case of do it your fucking self. <clears throat> Let's see, Jess. Uh, what Mayor Earl said, I tested it. Been at this for a long time, no issues watching multiple devices. I mean, it just does it. Okay. <laughs> uh, elevator out. I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the outside bleh, outside the Android examination theater. My guys have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are you know, components you know, that are in component storage. Row one, stack B. If I can't find it, my uh, if you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions androids. Just get off my back, chief. So I was like, just everyone hates him. Also, they were they were going to hold a VIP event whilst they were tearing the place apart. Really? Apparently, again, the suits are idiots. Yeah. And thanks, Merle. Hope you enjoy Diablo 4. Be safe! You knew full well that these guys were the last bidders for Sebastopol's Apollo system. And you totally fucked the Android presentation. They're not interested. So no bonus from me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sebastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. Don't threaten me with a good time, fuckhead. <laughs> okay. Yep. Anyway, so what do you think of a Plague Tale, uh, Jess? Okay. Is, is this the traffic system of the trams or something? 
Hack either way. Time to be a hacksaw. Kind of curious, like, I have, I know of the game, I see it recommended to me on YouTube a few times, but I never watched it. Okay. Mm, I know my father played both games, I think. Oh, wait, that play tale! Yep. Oh, okay, I think I've seen a little bit, but I avoided it for some reason. Because of rats. Eliminate two drinks, which do you take out? No, I think it was for some reason. I think, like, I think when I try, started watching it, I feel like I mean, we got the wrong impression of it. Okay, just that kind of story. I'm not in the mood for this. I'm uh, still so looking for something else. Okay. Hmm. I've, I might stream those one day, but we already have a massive list of games to, you know, to do. And hello in chat night. How are you doing? I wonder how much an alien would enjoy a lizard stared intently at Rakir. <laughs> And Liz, it's good, but at the same time makes it impossible to eat food while playing. <laughs> yeah, I've heard a thing or two about that game. Nice. And, well, how it displays... <laughs> how it uh, shows off how rats are when they are really fucking hungry and in mass numbers. Actually, we've seen it in this one. I need a compression cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? I'm pretty sure the moment we have the, the item, this thing is going to try and kill us. I would say, don't aim a gun at it, so that may trigger its... Uh... Self-defense. Speaking of trigger, what if I... Sh I should try shooting canisters around the place. See if that has any effect. Yes, of course, it'll, it'll get fucking loud, but if the... I don't think... Uh, I don't think Rag will like getting showered with shrapnel. Here we are. Your compression cylinder will be found at the far end of this row. Yep. Okay, the fuck are those things made of if they catch fire that easily? Also, yoink. Oop. Wait, what? Okay, I, I thought for sure that this would lead straight to the other side, but apparently not. <laughs> Chokes on me. Oop. Okay, something got called down from downstairs, but I didn't get the specifics. Um... Let's see, is there another one of those? I'm too I'm too used to space being jump. Hmm. Okay. We need to make oh. some sort of bridge. And I think Greg is leaving us alone for a moment so we can work on this puzzle. Hmm. Oh, no, we can get by past here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Can we lower this enough so that we can go over it? Uh, let's see, nights. I'm decent, just been shadow lurking. Excited for Sunday since I ordered two games which are going to be arriving. Oh, okay, so we can lower these down entirely. Okay, what games then? Another hidey hole. Okay, something blew up here. Um. Ah, there it is. Okay, now where will this go? Mortal Shell and Godfall. I think I might have heard of those two, but I'm not too sure. I think... I, re oh, I remember something with a game called Mortal Shell where you can jump between enemies or something, or allies. 
a body hopping uh, mechanic in any case. Hmm. I feel like I heard those two names before, but only by title, uh, but nothing else. Hmm. I'll say. Let me do a big, you know, a quick BRB just to check if that you know, if they called for me or something. Also, just to make sure that, yeah, <laughs> just for the bathroom quick as well. So, right. be back in five or ten. Okay, and I returned, and let's just say that it was a good idea to go check if I had to go because. I basically had one of those moments where you don't feel anything uh, at all, but the moment you get in, <laughs> in a five meter radius of a bathroom, you go, oh shit. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah I, I, I've been there. And also, do you bring something? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I realized I'd forgotten to get myself a bit of dessert after dinner. So yeah, now I have uh, vanilla and... Uh, <clears throat> Chocolate custard mixed. Yay. Mm. Meanwhile, I'm hungry. Wait. <laughs> Two seconds. Oh, uh, oh, what? Uh, I'll link the scroll up a bit for that. Uh, to the term makes it impossible to eat food while playing. I, I don't, that was Jess. Mm -hmm. Model. Jump between bodies, which are called shells. Godfall apparently on release was a bit of a mess. Uh, Godfall is an RPG with a summoner of sorts class in it, and I've been itching to play as a summoner in games. Mortal Shell is a Souls-like, and you know how much I love those with the fact that I've played the first Dark Souls seven times. Uh, there are some things we don't need to know. <laughs> okay, light back off, and... Oop. Papers go flying because I turn on the fan, of course. And someone's at the door, so give me a second, because it seems no one else is hearing that. Okay, uh, that swimming group that I am slash was a part of, since I can't no can no longer yeah, can no longer help on Fridays. Uh, yeah, they're having a meeting downstairs, and one of the members was late. Okay. All right. So uh, downstairs, plotting on how to punish you. Maybe. Also, I forgot to note the start time of the BRB, so I can at least note the rough end time. Okay. Uh, yeah, back to spooks. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And uh, be safe at night. Uh, okay, see you next time. Later. Where are you going since we're against my Coco blew in, so yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> you luckily entered at a chill area quite literally figuratively and literally are you sure we did for pretty sure i heard something there's always you know, it, some chill in there but uh well as long okay, it's still events also i mean uh, shot the custard yep i mean that doesn't taste that doesn't sound bad any hiding spots here? Yeah, I'm confused for. I feel like whenever he custard, I feel like custard. I think he's in the uh, floor vents. Yeah, wait, wait, in custard, a condiment? No, no, that's mustard. I know, mustard. I know what that is. Just feel like you should hear custard used as a. Something with something else, like apple pie or something. Could yeah. be a different okay. kind. Okay, so, okay, so custard is. 
how would you actually describe it? Like a sort of more flavorful yogurt or something? But that probably helps. Yeah, probably. But that definitely sounds very really different from the custard I feel like I've been um, told about. Custard. Hmm. It's a variety of culinary preparations based on sweetened milk, cheese, or cream cooked with egg or egg jolt to thicken it. Sometimes also flour, cornstarch, or gelatin. Depending on the recipe, custard may vary in consistency from just a thin brain sauce to thick pastry cream. All right. Expecting the other door to open. Yeah, again. So if you have ever eaten a donut with pastry cream on it, you've eaten custard. Okay. The Dutch word and for this specifically is fla, V-L-A. So that might be useful for narrowing things down a bit in the fuck. Oh. Fla? Yeah. Well, that's totally not noisy as all hell. I just imagine, like... Wait, are, are those, like, doors? Those look like doors. I don't think this is the Monsters, Inc. place. You might want to... You can't shut it down. Yeah. Okay, I can't see hey, if you they have guns. Shit. You might let me up. Hmm. I get the feeling I climb up. What the heck? I get the feeling if I around. climb up there, I immediately get shot. But there's no way to just... But there's nothing on the other door. What the heck happened to their computers? Well, they you got can see that the coolant is leaking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. You can make a pipe bomb. I think I heard something about if you attack unarmed people that you get punished for it. Beyond just, well, drawing drag over. <coughs> so, yeah, I couldn't see if they had guns or not, so I'm going to try and just go around. Or if we even need to go up there. Uh, fun Where fact, Dr. Lengard. Fun fact, Dr. Lengard. Uh, Axel, who you met at the beginning of the game, and he died, and Ransom are playable in the DLC chapters. Okay. Right, and we do plan to play on those. Or at the very least, take a look at them. I get the feeling this is going to pop up behind those two. Can't see weapons. I think one of them is no, carrying a, a gun. That's a revolver. Okay, at least they're fascinated by the monsters' ink doors. So, not much of a problem for us. I wonder what the kids are doing right now. Can't tell if she has a weapon or not. Do you really want to risk it? Well, even if I, if, <laughs> best I can do is use a stun gun or something on them. And if the other one is armed, they're going to get a shot off, which, well, big freaking flare of dinner bell here. Don't you just love it when everybody thought computers were going to look like this? <laughs> I've honestly had a thought of just taking one of these old things and just <laughs> emptying it out and just putting in a... A monitor and a console, and just using that as a travel thing. <laughs> um, hmm. Bad idea. Let's see. That is Can a I... bad idea. Can I get someone from Seeks and Synthetics to look at my Android? I've just worked a twenty-hour shift, twenty-four-hour shift, helping out with trauma patients, <coughs> and I'm the dentist. <coughs> Waits wants every one of them moved out of the hospital, and no one is telling any, me anything. 
if I'm going to be pulling you know, down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an Android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust because apparently the same model starting that acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell is going on with this place? Get someone down here now before I make an official complaint. Fernandez. Nothing else. All right. And don't, also, don't think I'd want on. an Android doing my dentures. Oh dear. No, oh, but no. he wants it. Ah, uh, you didn't save. No, he's asking for an android for help for like yeah, control of patients. Yeah, and I did say because it's on cooldown now. Ah. Uh, and also, I feel like that uh, style of computer is not travel suited. True, <clears throat> but more f mm, not really just travel through the from. <laughs> Maybe more for something when visiting someone or something. It was just a dumb idea and I haven't been able to act on it. Not sure if I ever will be able to act on it because I typically forget stuff like that pretty quickly. Yeah, I think the idea easier, itself would be pretty um, neat. To turn a console into a monitor or, oh wait, we already have Switch and Nintendo 3DS and all that. Yeah, but more yeah, like older really... stuff. Yeah. So, like, if you wanted to play a PS2 game? Yeah. yeah possibly. Like, with a bit of work, you could probably b build it so that it's like, that the console is exchangeable for, uh, with something else. We need to make a bracket that can fit multiple things. We may... We're not horribly going wait. to die yet. Wait, what, what? I saw something, I saw something. Tomorrow, no tomorrow, no future. Uh, uh, go back, go back. Okay, go back. Ma magically yeah. vanishing snack bar. Nom, 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 nom. I got it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Device invalid. Okay. I'm guessing you need to upgrade it. Uh. I got startled by a fan. I think that's a bit more than a fan. I think we just lost a big part of the station somewhere. No, 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 no. I meant a fan on the desk. <laughs> Drink. Yeah, you see what I mean now. Also, with move, I easily fought alien. And the realized, no, that's just a fan. Okay, back here. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, oop, damn it. Uh, yeah, I was a bit too early on hitting space. <laughs> I can hear distant movement in the vents. Okay. What the heck was that supposed to be a drawing of? Bird or something? Okay, I think those two were down here last. Oh. I sent Cut you scene. a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be. Hey! Identify yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlo, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. 
seeing as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, right. Back we'll talk you. about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. Okay, which way now Contact. then? Marshall Waits is played by the same guy who Peach. plays Lieutenant Gorman in the... in Aliens. <laughs> okay. So, so yes, it round two at getting this thing? So what? you could all so you could argue that yes, he was always an asshole. Mm. I'll be right back. Uh, right. Hmm. I've had a, I've had an idea before of looking for of looking for MP3 players that are made to look like uh, cassette players, which are is actually which are actually a thing. And I've got an idea of Trying to turn a cassette tape into like a SD card uh, holder. <clears throat> okay. Good work. And there. But you should definitely be careful. Yeah. <clears throat> or at least make something similar looking without the tape and such. Then it's just, well, having a way of flipping it over with a little hinge. Okay. Guessing this is a sort of service elevator to head there. With being out of the way like that. Okay, now I'm tempted to use, use a, a very old, fancy... Uh, what, what do they call it? Painting frame? Nice bang mark. What is that banging? Oh dear. Well, yeah, I don't think uh, we don't fr uh, but those old painting frames would work on a TV sense. But I probably blocked the remote's access. Yeah. Okay, that bang is too consistent to be from Dragon Events. Someone or something is banging on the other end of that. Gas torch. We need a torch. Welcome back. I'm back. I gotta order food. You know what? I'll just do it from here. Okay. Yep. Great. I know someone's in here. Great. So, been thinking about making a weird, a sort of horror, of uh, making a horror game. Okay. That's a mix of, like, fear and Silent Hill, if that makes sense. Wait, wait, you plan to make a horror game? I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. Kinda. Well, it's an idea I've got in the back of my head. Okay. Mm, uh oh. But yeah, the idea I had was uh, a game that's a mix between Fear and Silent Hill. Yep. <laughs> Hello, PDA notification sound. Yep, that's my notification sound for WhatsApp on my God, hate this place. on my uh, phone. Yeah, this, that was the sound from Stalker, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's from Stalker. You got shot. Yep. yep. Now we got shot I, there. I'm pretty sure he missed the first one. Just for the record, I don't think stun baton beats revolver. It depends on it depends on who gets the drop on the other one first. Also, for wrong. <laughs> Why? Or oh, your phone jump scared us. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. I, I think Fear and Silent Hill are a bit opposite in their approach to <clears throat> the approach to horror and such. Since Fear is more of the shock and such, and Silent Hill is more of the psychological. But there would probably be a way to find a middle ground, depending on which you 
would lean more to with well the horror and which more with the gameplay. I think they kind of wanted to make like the gameplay more like fear style action oriented, but at the same time, like your guns are powerful and there can be a variety of them. You just don't have the space to carry everything. But at the same okay. time, the enemies are just like they're not bullet sponges and some do carry firearms as well for things to be at an even point. And at the same time, the the idea I had for a, is that there's some kind of weird eldritch entity in the background that's someone's in here. fucking with everything going on. So mm. it basically screws with you as well. Okay. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like you have a shotgun and you can take care of the like regular enemies, but the second something bigger than that appears, you're kind of screwed, so you might as well run. <laughs> Somehow I'm getting a bit of a Monster Hunter vibe with guessing beasties of that size, you mean? I guess more like... Yeah! Uh, pistol will do nothing against this beside angering it. Yeah. For some reason, I thought about it after watching a few videos on Signalis. Oh, oh, okay, that was a false reading from the scanner. Hmm. I've heard that Signalis is really good. Yeah. Ah, since uh, Signalis in a, uh, uh, the Paradox game or the horror game? The horror game. All right, then I've seen uh, a bit of that. Oh wait, the other one was called Stellaris. <laughs> okay, how the hell did you mix those two up? Yeah, that was about to ask. Signalis, Stellaris, both rhyme, both start with an S. Both are completely different in gameplay and style. Yeah, but again, it was the name, just the name that, uh, that confused me for a short moment. Of yours! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, the smoke as well. Yes. <laughs> now let's leave it for Greg to take and horrifically butcher. Okay, now what am I supposed to do here now? I flipped that to turn one of these back on. I think there's a car outside. Home the Try the one home. console that looks like it's up. Try the one that's three. Yeah. Left. I think we need to, up yeah, left. There's nothing happening. No problem. Not that one below you. Yep. Right. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it wasn't unnecessary for me to shove the stun gun up his ass. Oh, good. Come on. You know, I just realized that he, that guy sounds a lot like Ash from like the first one if he had even less emotions than he did before. Uh, which Ash are we talking about? The Ash, android. the yeah, the android. Did not fucking Ash catch him? I was probably uh, between Ash Ketchum or uh, Ash from Evil Dead. Uh, this way, okay. Why can't why can't I not use the stupid? Uh. Help me by stopping the f fucker. You, you kept shooting past his head. You're out. Uh, Wait, did you, did you really just put one in? You have to keep the you have to keep the button pressed. This is so going to lure Greg to the nearby area. Yeah, this is also a safety breach. Okay, how many it's freaking dead. rounds was this? Five or six? About six, I think. Also, you might want to still reload. Yeah. Whose idea was to make a synthetic 
could you put blood white? I don't know, honestly. Uh, they've been they've been like that since the first movie, so. Yeah, and I heard many people was doing reviews of the old movies, and the only one of the movies, uh, a lot of um, certain jokes. Yes, we we've all made those jokes. I haven't. Where? Do I, I think mm. I. I thought it was me or someone else who made that different joke about them. About a certain food we called... Uh, I think they would translate it as stewed macaroni. Huh. Okay. I was here people call it milk or an entirely different thing. Yeah, restart transit. Listen, you crazy bastard. Do you think that thing gets around in a fucking transit car? You're sitting on an override that'll disconnect the transit from Apollo, so fucking pull it. You can stop all this bullshit just by pulling a lever. You think you're safer with the transport power down, but we're trapped like rats. For God's sake, help us. I bet that guy didn't even get to read it, instead dropped, instead was killed. Yeah, before. Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair or in the Seeks and you know, security guys. I told them it was you that killed Morrison. If they see you, they're still in sight. You should have let me join you in your bolt hole. You won't last a week. Okay, no senders, so we can't know who sent those, but... Yeah, I don't think they would want to be here now, anyways. Dude, yeah. how the... Was the android that dis partially disemboweled him, or what? Wait, 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 look again. Okay. Organs and blood on the both barrels? But... I mean, oh. I'm guessing Greg, but he didn't take the body, so that's odd. Oh, wait, wait, look at the floor. Yeah, they crawled away. Yeah. That was Greg, just leaving bodies to fuck with people. And the... And it's busted, that's... Grand, we, um... Hmm. Did we find a blowtorch? We need a blowtorch. Back there again. Oh, the middle console. Yep, yeah, it's active now. Okay. I'm guessing when we screwed with the previous one there, it, it reset everything or something. Ripley, this is Waits. The transits here were waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. Okay, I'm guessing this is now open then. Yep. Okay. A blowtorch. Hello there. Okay, you don't need to keep splashing like that. Okay, one cutting torch and a save station. There we go. Let's see. Uh, recently, I've recently I've been watching a long video. I think I think the channel was Dungeon Chill. They made a video about Grim Fandango. Oh, oh. I had that recommended to me recently for the same uh, person. I've been pondering you when to watch that. Uh, yeah, I, I have watched stuff about Grim Fandango before, but yeah, outside of some eccentricities with some of the puzzles, I do have to agree that it's, it is probably, if not the best, one of the better LucasArts uh, point-and-click adventures. Wait, it's LucasArts? Yeah. Yep. That's fucking chunky. Uh, wait, didn't we have ideas to stream that game? I think you already the, did. No, we, had, we haven't. Grim Fandango, not. We have streamed a bunch of other Lucas ga Arts games. Oh, like, okay. Well, the Indiana point and clicks. <clears throat> yeah, we can stream mm. Fandango. I'll be up for it. Uh, I would. Uh, if. 
if we do that, I am just going by a guide because, yeah, some of it is some real moon logic. Oh, great. Where do we get the feeling we're going to run into this, Sinclair? Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. Can call it. Okay, at least we know it's not Greg because he's not the chatty type. He is the growly type. Seeing any movement. Where do we get the feeling we're going to get ambushed? Yeah, the moment we call this thing, people are going to start showing up. Rob said growly type, right? Yep. Alright. Yeah. That I misheard. I thought it said girly type for some reason. I guess Maybe technically found a better site to raid. Or a way off this fuck heap. That and today's the day we finally seal ourselves in with the meditation box. Feels like we're standing around waiting to die. I guess every xenomorph is female because they can all become queens. I mean maybe? I think they more identify as murderous predator than anything else. Yeah, the yeah. more the the xenomorphs. They have been said they reproduce asexually, but they, yeah, they the female Let's will be the one that laying in. No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. <laughs> My best guess is the thing is unstoppable. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fucker. With what? It took the Colonial Marines a gun which literally fired explosive 10 millimeter to kill it. Yeah, but I would say it's... They, they and again... It's, it's definitely female, but most of the drones are male, if I remember right. Otherwise, they all may be kind of genderless. Uh, since yeah, since kind of the whole asexual they're... reproduction, probably monogendered, if anything, at least. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Hmm. Would it be mono sex? Uh, mono gendered. What? I guess, since there is a difference between well, biological sex, sex and gender. Biological sex and gender, but in this case, we're using mono gender. Mostly because we're not asking the aliens, we're trying not to die to them. Station yeah. The Gallery Colonial Marshall Bureau. Gee. So here's a fun fact. The company that made this place, mm -hmm. uh, Zeekson, that also made the Working Joes. Bureau, just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here. Wait's out. Wait says no time to wait. Yeah, go on. Basic, basically, they were trying to make space stations instead of like going for uh colonization of planets and when planet colonization turned out to be the better option well well season pretty much was screwed yeah haven't we we've been here before Calm down we're safe now waits has a plan a plan really his fucking plans haven't done as much was good that so you? far did you get the transit running nice work Maybe we'll be safe here. For now, anyway. Finally, someone who being appreciative of our work. The law has no boundary. That's, that's the kind of message you want to give, since, well, that just means that they're just going to abuse you. The laws yeah. of Earth stretch beyond the... Okay, maybe they're supposed to say it's something like, 
or like the law has doesn't have to abide by corporations rules or something like that but they fucked up the slogan yeah how's taylor stable should be walking soon enough samuels is with her now okay you managed to get transit up and running so i guess we're even where's ricardo prepping our next move look i'm busy I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlo's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. It'd be easier to just take everyone we've got and just piss off to Ripley's ship. Oh, we would, but... Uh... Heavy we damage. can't contact them. Yeah. That as well. And they took heavy damage. Yeah, they took off to orbit as well. Yeah, to do repairs. Oh, so there's Marlo. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well. Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Oh, I see what's going on here. Com check. You get me, Lewis? A little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. If you are looking for a piece faster, I've got something for you right here. I'd need scanning equipment to find it, Heist. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Okay, what sort of fresh hell are we walking into this time? As Marlo, I presume. Let's see. There. Needle. Foster and Meeks, keep your eyes open. Why? Oh, come on! Welcome to LB426. The damn black box landed here? I think. I actually don't remember if this is supposed to be the same planet. But it would explain how the heck they got the scene with the space station considering this Nostromo exploded. Hmm. Now I can't I can't remember now whether it was still orbiting or if they were on their way back already. Because if they were on their way back already, then this is a, then this has to be a different planet. Well, it exploded. It could mine. still, under the years, crush landed here. Nope, yeah, the flight recorder was found by the Anesidora not far, like, literally on LB-426. You just, <laughs> you just wikied it? Yeah, I had to look it up just to be on the safe side. What are the odds? Like, it's not impossible, but... What the heck? They basically, they found orbiting or something. Basically, they found this. Well, yeah, actually, they were kind of orbiting it because they landed on LB426. Like the first, like the crew of Nostromo landed here because they found a signal. Kane gets infested. Then they try to. Then they have to deal with the. Then they try to leave. Have to deal with the xenomorph, and the ship gets blown up. And Ripley is stuck in the escape pod trying to get out. So it's likely at least some of it made it onto the planet. It's just pure dumb luck that the flight recorder was one of the things that made it here. Over here. Give me a leg up. 
Uh, yeah. Are you sure we want to use the term dumb luck? Well, what do you want me to say? Do you really want me to say it was good luck that it fucking landed on the exact same place that has all the goddamn xenomorphs and it's somehow the same place in aliens? I would say bad luck. Well, yeah, that's all. That also applies. Yeah, okay, this place seems to be falling apart. So, yeah, the case in points. How much I say that the pause fucking collapses? Oh, we can't. We're in first person. We don't have third person, so we can't watch our own back. <laughs> yes, yes, lame joke. I would prefer the bonk. Why? <laughs> Not for you! Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, to be honest, if... if also, well, fun fact, uh, LB-426 is also known as Akron. Okay. Uh, yeah, if I were to ever end up in Here's space somehow... Stand back, and then I blow it. If I were to ever end up in space, I would prefer these chunky fucking suits and not the slim type. Where it looks like you could just brush against a rock the wrong way and get a... get a hole in your suit. Yeah. I think Gundam did it the best because the skin tight suits are supposed to be worn by pilots because they need all the movement, while more standard suits are worn by other members. Or those okay. running like assaults on ground or ship assaults because, you know, they're expected to fight much more on ground or. So that makes sense. Yeah. Let's get going. Follow me. Yeah, um... I just need another lift, I guess. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. Okay. Because I'm already here. Hmm. <clears throat> But also, if you were to take a fall, you'd probably have a lot more cushioning in this sort of thing. Exactly, yes. Don't fall uh, face first. Crap. The engineer ship. Yep, that's the space jockey. Yeah. Uh okay. It's even worse luck because somehow the flight recorder wind up in a fucking space jockey somehow. Oh dear. Oh wait, we're we're head, we're following the the, the flight recorder's uh, distress beacon or something. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I want more little stuff about the aliens and why would Prometheus? And uh, was, I haven't seen the other two yet. Prometheus was decent, but I we agree that was something that, that kind of... I can see why people dislike it. Even I kind of dislike it for knowing the, the realizing this. But yeah. Like, Prometheus the Black Gerolda, movie. Yeah, Black Gerolda is interesting, but it's a glaring issue. Which is... How the heck did the Sino of Eggs get there? But they're not even being made yet the, in that place. See, here's the thing. Nobody thought Prometheus through. Yeah, yep. I feel like that. Like, I know, I know the original author for Aliens wanted to bring a story to the space jockey, which, all right, that part was fine. But how they went to to do that? Yeah, was not the best idea. Honestly, yeah. I just tend to ignore anything involving the whole engineers and thing. Because, like Godzilla movies that focus on the humans, or Transformers movies that focus on the humans, they are not the point of interest. 
Yeah. Yeah, like... I'll, like, I'll, the, I'll... like, the one thing I've seen that I kind of acknowledge the Engineers' success is... Aliens fire team elite, and that's because they're a background thing that just oh fuck, this is a thing. Yeah, like um again, I like the idea to to give some aspect to the uh, engineer. Yes, I feel like they just went with them to sort of in a bad way. Yeah. But there is a new lore about Cinemorph that I do like, which is kinda terrifying. Which is Something survivors from a year uh, having a certain thing inside them that have been certain removed, uh, see, during yeah. the gestation and after having the damn thing Definitely removed. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? Then make this a ship. <laughs> I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet. Can it! We're wasting time. Have a look around. No, it's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. I mean, the Nostrom already did, but um, we can and come back. It's not around anymore. Have a look around. See what else is here. Marlo, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? I'm right next to you. What is it? The tracks lead here. The same name that's on the flight recorder. No strong. Someone's already been here. Maybe they abandoned Wait. ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. Well, if they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Oh, Don't want anybody yeah. else finding this place. Foster, Heist, I was supposed to be looking at those line. two. I was completely watching the wrong thing. It, but yeah, I was those, to is, those are our type of freights. Yeah, but I was just... I've never seen anything like it. It's not human, I'm telling you that. Yeah, this right. Tronos gear. Astronos I would gear. just say this without being interrupted by the NPCs. The Lady in the Dark. Okay. Very much... I think I prove it, for it's terrifying, and it does look like very inspired by Giger's work. Yeah. And it has some a, sort of xenomorph god or something. Goddess. It has been nicknamed a xenomorph goddess, and yeah, it looks okay. like it, again, it looks like it is from inspired by Giger's artworks, which I what I do is why I, I approve it. For it looks like a. Very terrifying mix between a xenomorph and a human. Just this case is not a lewd fan art. It actually looks terrifying. Where, oh, where she the other looks guy terrifying. Also, where did the fourth one just suddenly pop out from? Because I, when we were walking around, there were three. Or there were two others with us. So where did number where four were, vanish up there was, to? There was four. There were four, yeah. Yeah, but whilst we were going through the corridor, I was locking back and forth, and I only saw the two in front. So four, number four must have hung back or something. <clears throat> but yeah, with the engineers. Okay, that is not the flight recorder. That is very much not the flight recorder. No, but I think that's the distress beacon that also got the Nostromo stuck here. I just guessing I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, that that might have just as well cut his hand off or something. Don't know <laughs> what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Man, you have got to see this. It's amazing. I'm Did you find an egg? Uh, well, we kn we know how the xenomorphs and what the xenomorph ended up on this ship, so we know they're going to find one sooner or later here. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, mysterious races like the engineers need to be kept uh, and mysterious. mysterious. The more you explain about them, the, the less people are going to like things. Yeah, honestly, I like when they sort of 
strangely enough, I actually prefer it for the aliens when they look into them, their biology and whatnot, because it's this strange, almost primal thing that you're trying to just both figure out and try not to die against, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. the engineers, I can do without. I'm okay with people, like, doing, like, trying to look deeper into the aliens, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, like, okay. Again, I, I was all right with the, uh, having a story for the engineer on how the heck did this situation happen in that situation, but I feel like, yeah, the way they, they decided to do it was, uh, yeah, a little bit much. Yeah. The best Actually, way I can, I, the best way I can think I can name it is that uh, looking in the with the engineers, they are too quote unquote human, whereas the xenomorph is completely and totally alien. Yeah. And like, I can more easily buy like predators just using them as sport because it's never stated that they made them it stated that they found them and then used them as sport which still leaves the question where the fuck did they come from yeah, yeah they do have a home world yeah because i feel like has there's a lot of older lore they feel like would have worked better to use than what they did with prometheus yeah, yeah. It, prometheus it, feels I mean, like a fanfic a badly written one here's the thing i think prometheus would be better liked if, if it was yeah. its own thing. Yeah, basically it feels like the, the aliens Francis were slapped on for for, sell, for sales or something. Yeah. But yeah, uh, back in the hatchery from hell. So, it's here. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. Okay, which of these two idiots we're going to see? He's taking aim. Again, is it them Ubi moves that aims the face hammer at you? Yeah. <sighs> and we can guess how it went from there. I want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlowe. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My board in the text bind lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yoink. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. Yeah. Is it, from what I remember, the older lord of the engineers, I think they even had another name in the past. They were still mysterious, but they were well known a bit more info on them. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistech Spire. I'll coordinate from here. Our, from what I do remember, they were less... ...fantastical, I guess? Compared to what we got in Prometheus. Okay. They were not hmm. the creators of humanity, I think. Let's they were just wait. a new species. Wait, what? we're trapped down. The creature set of explosives we set in the habitation tower, and I'm hearing reports of damage to the space flight terminal docks. I don't think we put a dent in it. There's activity in San Cristobal, so maybe it's uh, gone back. Find a way over to Saimad Tower, uh, to the Saimad Tower Transit. Hope to God the sensors in medical reception are still online. Didn't mean to step out from that. 
Okay. Uh, arrest sheets. Henry Marlowe. Indefinite incarceration. Mike Tanaka. Drunk and disorderly. Night in the cells to sober up. Let off with a warning. Uh, Robert Webster. Domestic incident. Released due to on stage and security breach. Yeah, when when the station starts going to hell, yeah, you're going to need more hands. Oh dear. I, I should be missing the all the lore of the engineers, or by what they were called, jockeys. Okay, nothing here. For actually, I think about it. You could say Prometheus rewrote the lore about them. Yeah, and yeah, not in a way that people liked. Yeah, again, it feels like you should be in another movie. Like, here's something I learned recently that was from. I'm sure it was as a, I don't know, an extended thing or a cut scene, but apparently someone got turned into. I guess you could call uh, Moose assembling a gene stealer. This requires quite a bit. But it says it should be good against uh, synthetics. Okay, that's some heavy duty stuff. Okay, where's our other friend? Let's see. <clears throat> Impounded. Uh, from Mar all from Marlowe and one from Napra Leaf. Ammunition and weaponry, level 3 plasma shear. Wheel and Neutroni proprietary flight unit, yep. Watch, wallet, and personal effects. Suspected contraband medical supplies. Oh, no, no, that's the it's medicine. Okay. Wait, it's Dr. Lingard. I've just examined a patient with, well, I've never seen anything like it. Some kind of unknown parasite. I did a quick check on the name they gave me, and there's no one registered under it at Sevastopol. I think she came on board recently. Do you know anything about this? I have no idea what Sinclair and his men were doing, but this should have been picked up during quarantine. Who knows what else they've let through? The patient and her captain are waiting for me in the examination room. Get down here now. And shortly afterwards, the chest burster escapes. Yeah. And... As you said, these people. Uh, what the heck? What? Someone find a firework. Okay. Timing? <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is. When the face hold is your face, don't touch it. Yeah, it'll just constrict. Yeah. However, once it falls off, that's the only time, low chance, but possible. To do a surgery to remove the chest burster. Yeah. Ricardo's moving in ahead of you. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm gonna get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. Samuels okay doing that? Guy said he wanted to help, and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. I guess. Look, Ripley, we're the only people standing between Sevastopol and outright disaster. Outright this isn't already disaster. Already <laughs> All we can do now is kill that fucker. Okay, you do want to kill that thing for it can turn into something worse. Yeah. Okay, this one. But yeah. Only way to get rid of... If you wanna make sure, try to get rid of the chest hugger from someone, yeah, do it after the face hugger has fallen off. Chest hugger. Uh, chest face hugger, I mean. Well, yeah, but that, at that point, people think that it died for some stupid reason, and they they don't think to go for a medical exam. Yeah, though in the comics they have uh, experienced it uh, uh, enough times to uh, perfect. It. Or sort of perfect to get them out when they are in the chest, but there's a chance to them dying as well. I think and, that I think people would prefer that. Yeah, however, here's the thing. You, if you survive, you will still have issues, like it's you're not in perfect health. Yeah, of course, some you, something got torn out of your 
well, <laughs> chest, and a lot of stuff would have to be moved to get access, including cracking open your rig cage for one. Yeah, and some of the damages that if the thing did will be permanent. And all of them are the damn psychological thing with yeah. the queen, the lady in the dark. Or was it woman in the dark? Something, something almost itchy. I remember it was a very itchy name. Or what you would call it. Okay, and Greg is around. Oh dear. Also, another fun fact. You probably wonder how the heck the egg survived with, with the face huggers for so long. Some sort of hibernation, probably. Uh, that too, and this is the surprising part. The blood. Okay, because it doesn't oxidize or something. Yeah, it kind of works as a uh, pre-energy thing. So they can stay alive without food for as long as it takes. Uh, uh, what um, now? Oh great, as if one spire being on fire wasn't bad enough. Couldn't, I couldn't see the blasted crosshairs. Fuck off, fuck off. Okay, what the fuck happened here? Open up. Uh, must be one of the malfunctioning systems, huh? Okay, uh, no, not that. We need one of these quick. Either that or they, uh... Failed to do the, uh... Our special, uh, curry. Where's... Uh, is that it? Yes. Okay, this will fry some of the systems around here, but at least it won't, well, flame broil us. Well, let's be honest, a lot of the systems around here were probably already damaged. Yeah. Okay, well, now that we aren't at risk of Wait, suffocating... what's wrong with this station? It's always been falling apart, but because of the decommission, a lot of the systems have been shut down. Add to the fact that everyone's too busy trying to stay alive to maintain anything, and you end up with goddamn chaos. Yeah. They're not armed. And don't see a pistol on them. Did something back there just explode? That's the least of your problems. The creature's nearby. You heard the lady. Let's go. Yep, that's actually something I found out from a video. You can tell them to piss off of this hopefully safety. Okay, now we're... Okay, other sides. Okay. Not seeing any other movement around. Okay. Something did Yep, vents. Okay. Not time to mess with these again. So what did I miss? Uh, 
freaking explosion. Yeah, they try to uh, do explosive curry. Yay. There is too much uh, gunpowder in it. Hmm. I just, I, I just half had a thought of what uh, curry with gunpowder mm. would taste like, but then I remember. <laughs> was rem then I remembered, oh yeah, there's sulfur in that, so no. Yeah, I just to be with, you should probably not eat gunpowder at all. Or black powder. I not think I have, I think I have heard uh, that in old times, like with the Wild West and such, that people mixed it into foods. Wait, the creature. How are we going to seal it in? The Spire was built to process high-value compounds dredged up from the gas giant. Piracy precautions are still in place. The tower can be shut off, vents, doors, everything. So, you build a cage around the creature, then Ricardo locks it down. Okay. So, basically lure it into a cage. And, well, we're the bait. Okay. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Yeah. Entrance is dead ahead. Use the terminal and reception to open the door. Oh, I completely missed this last time. Okay, first off though. We gotta save. Yep. There. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. Oh, that one was new. Yeah, I was about to say. I th uh, you might want to leave. Yep, there we, we go. Got, <laughs> that was a glitch. There we go. Come on, piss off. Now the moment I, the moment I move forwards, is when he turns around. Or not in this case. There we. No emergency override, so I can't lock him in. It's door opening for him. Okay. okay. On the other side of the door there. That. Okay, time to start locking this place down. They will need to leave open an exit for us. I can hear him going around the vent still. He hasn't shown himself in a bit, though. Don't jinx it. Well, I said that and immediately a freaking Joe shows up. Yay. Okay, now how do I seal this off? What is this? Release B, okay. Mm -hmm. 
to the uh, camp group, we can't you know, keep up a full guard 24-7, but with the volunteer lookouts and the spires existing security systems, we can keep it watertight. From this point onward, we don't raise the security shutters for anyone, and all supply runs have to go through me. We can get through this, guys. Thompson. Don't know how much longer I can take this. It's cramped and dirty and the trash is starting to rot. I don't even know if we're really safe here. Carter and Thompson came back from their recons last week with a couple of guns, and I'm starting to see a different side to some of the people here. Maybe that woman, Winters, was right. Okay, nothing else useful here. Okay, it's either below or above us. We're in the vents. Okay, so someone in that camp got out, got out, and the alien got in. Hmm. Yeah, probably. That's closed. I think we're going to need to deal with him. Glitch in the scanner for a moment there. Oh, there they go. Okay, for a moment, I thought he vanished. There's another one of those lockdowns. Just came from. Let's see. It took her, and I couldn't do a thing to stop it. Burst it through, tore us through Doug. Then it cut Liam in half and threw him aside like a ragdoll. Then it cornered Emma. I was in the shadows, and it didn't see me. Emma was calling for me, calling for help, but I couldn't move. I was too scared. I let her take. I let it take her. I'm going to find. But I'm going to find her. If you find this, arm yourself. <clears throat> Eric, can you hear me? Eric, the yeah, comms are screwed again. You there? Eric is Lincoln. Can you hear me? I made it down to tech support. I've picked up some yeah, canisters of water and some battery packs. And some tools, too. Yeah, we've got us. Great. I, I thought we were going to be safe from him for a, for a while more. Okay, <sighs> never know. You're not safe even when you're reading lore. Oh, we it already knew sense. that. Yeah. I just thought the fucker would stay away for a bit, <laughs> for a bit longer. Even though we're, we're specifically locking him in. So I'm pretty sure there are already five rounds in there. Dude. That's a f 
my food. There. Ricardo's finalizing the lockdown. You need to place yes, the security doors me. all around the stairwell. Then the supply storage, maintenance access, and server hub reception. Report in as you go. Okay, maybe if it had been a bit faster, I could have gotten to the other side there. Uh, then he probably would have heard uh, heard it anyways. Okay. Well, at least now we know what to do. Okay, there's one or two of them in here. Kareem and Baker warm. No. Scrap. Scrap. Okay, he's just going in one go. going down. Oh wait, I think we need to be in there. Yep. Okay. Now let's do this first and then... Actually, what is in here? here. Uh, warning, Sinclair, I have verified reports that you and your men are shooting civilians and looting supplies. When I find a way to kill this creature, I hope, I hope the hell that it found you first. Sinclair, I know we've had our differences since you and your Sikhs and security team arrived on Sevastopol, but, <clears throat> but right now we have a severe situation. We need a united front. In return for your total cooperation, I am willing to drop my investigation into your involvement in unregistered black market trading and drop all claims I had on the Sistech Spire Marshal office where you and your thugs operate from. Azul is right. Marshal waits. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the latter came before that one. Yeah, I'm guessing this one is the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one's the one. last one. Yeah. Sinclair, if you're not dead from the alien, I'm going to shoot you once we kill it. What is all here that... Oh. <laughs> That's what's here. Okay, so now we finally know what was behind that door. Wait, what was it? That central area where we were before. Oh. There. Okay, now we can lock it up. Oh dear. Here we go. Maintenance access shut off. Sinclair and his idiot man with gun, somewhere in habitation. 
Yeah. So, everyone's dead. Yeah. Uh, no. I got an idea. Yeah, every one of that camp. And that's too yeah. soon. Fuck. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I have an idea. Can we use the... Uh, can we try and raise the, the signal from here to try and get the Taurus over? Maybe. Oh, the Taurus! Torrens, I believe it was. Yeah, you, yeah, but you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah for, <laughs> this is in Star Trek Voyager. No, no, no. For some reason, my brain raised it as tourist. <laughs> Don't think we want tourists here, nor neither that they'd want to be here. <clears throat> we both know that we'd be a certain kind of tourist that would be. They kind of usually end up in jail for doing. Yeah, a there's a city called city Sebastopol. Things. Uh, what? Where's Greg? Yep. Yeah, the station is called Sebastopol Station. There's a real city called Sebastopol in Crimea. Oh, of course. And now I'm reminded of the meme that's like, two Ukrainian soldiers waving the Ukrainian flag going, Wait. Sir, we've liberated the Kremlin! And then President Zelensky being on the next image to be like, Crimea! I said Crimea! Right. They did not attack each other? Nope. It's. Well, either it's playing Ring Around the Rosie with you, or you can just. Nope, it's fucking off into the upper side, which I think we should. It's back in the vent. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. And they they used to do that back and <laughs> unless they get a reason to. Because, of course, well, androids don't make good hosts. No, they don't. And only a few parts of them are edible. By alien standard sense. I repeat, the damn things will eat raw ore. For a second, I thought the fucker was up here. Uh oh. Okay, but we know he can be here. Dear. Okay, this time we're not going to stick around and read the notes. We can read the notes when those th once we find a safe spot and lock away the xenomorph. Yeah, when it's been put in timeout. Okay, that's not... Oh, right, we locked that down. Oh, actually, we locked... Yeah. Must be linked to the entire vent system or something. Key cards. Either that's the androids, or that's the xenomorph. Try and speed run. Try and speed read that. Yeah, let's not. Looks to be the android, but the Xenomorph's probably in the vent. He's moving. There he is, down there. Okay. Not sure if I... 
Yeah, I must have looked past as well, so I was trying to avoid Drag and Joe. There's probably the names of some comedy duo somewhere. Oh, you have to say, this sounds like a duo. Okay. Franco, I've been investigating those archive leaks and I'm pretty sure it's just faulty hardware. Those ARIA systems are too old to properly integrate into something as complex as Apollo. I found something else though. It looks like someone has been accessing people's private messages and camera feeds for the last couple of years. The executive uh, suites, Sam and Cristobal, <clears throat> even the Marshall Bureau has been hacked. Does the name Ransom mean anything to you? Oh, great. Seven, okay, personal message is 7789. Okay. 7789. Hughes, it's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive and I've done some decrypting. I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started its trip home. Nothing that's going to break anything. Still, no one else needs to know about it, right? If you talk, well, there'll be consequences. I mean, there's plenty Marie doesn't know, right? Leave them decoding and let me know when they're done. We can keep this civil. Right. In space, no one can hear you. Ain't Blackmail? In space... Yes, in space, no one can hear your blackmail. I'm pretty certain at least one po You know, if the alien hadn't showed up, I get the feeling at least one person in Sebastopol would have just wasted him. Likely. Also... Yeah, I'll put them in from the previous one. Yeah. And sensors. Uh, what can I make it to use the sensors? Uh, no sensor. Yoink. Okay, did I use it? Did I use the nice grammar there? Try enter. Run security. I think it should be run, running. Yep. Okay. I hope this isn't glitched or something. Oh, select, select, press it. Yeah, E is select. Press E. I've been pressing it repeatedly. Yeah, run security Wait, run folder. This to access the security folder. Out there. Oh, uh, there it is. Security reception is closed off. Good job. Come through to the server farm quietly. Ducks. Yeah, hopefully. Otherwise, he is incoming. Really? At least I can hide in here a bit. Uh, 
That's leaking fuel. I presume it's fuel. Someone took out a Joe here. Greg or Joe? I've set up an emergency shutdown at the terminal inside the server farm. You need to trigger it from there, then get out. I'll keep your exit open till you're through, then shut the trap. Okay. Clear. Let's see. Okay, we need to go through here, so we go this way. Noisemaker version 2. Boop. Motherfucker stood still right as I checked. Uh, let's see. We already have the max we can carry. that so that noise oh. okay we need to activate ventilation to get rid of that I presume What is through here, then? Oh. Okay, I see what... There. Okay, we open this up, then we can turn the door access back on. Yep. And then we can get whatever is in there. Also something there. Okay, he's out. So we're in. Just a bunch of loot. ID tag. Map. That's useful. And flamethrower fuel. Need a flamethrower. Well, okay, where's that Joe? There's that Joe. going to come in here, but then it's a question of which way he goes. I'm presuming he'll go that way. Or just walk away. Works for us. A bit late of an update on that, since we've already been here. Okay. Just for safety's sake. Yep. Good idea. Er. Hmm? Did you get the flamethrower? Yes. Okay. And they haven't eaten yet. Surprisingly. Try using it against the Xenomorph. Maybe that might work. It's nearby because the Joes are reacting to it. Okay. 
Okay, get in there. I'm not getting any movement. Yep. Well, there's movement. Thinks, yeah, he's in the vents. I li I like how I, I we we call them Greg, even though we earlier said that they're likely all female. True. Uh, more of Greg. Like, uh, like uh, if it was, was I think it was uh, the drones are infertile males. And the queens, but they can change uh, if needed. There and I just remember something is horrifying. What is it? Uh, the queens can, if I remember right, if I remember right, the queen can lay up to. 15 eggs within uh, one minute or four minutes, I think. Yes. No. I think, I think this person went up to saying something like uh, they could lay up to 200 eggs uh, within one hour or something. So, yeah. More reason to kill that bugger. I'm gonna get by without the Joe spotting me. Yes, I can. I'm going to do a quick check to see if I can open up a shortcut here because I think this door was closed on the other side. Also that. Yep, okay. Okay, I was pretty sure I was going to get caught there with that. If the Joe would had been moving, yeah, definitely would have been caught. Okay. Come on. I'm pressing A. There we go. Okay. Drop that aside. Okay. They're still mucking around in the vents. Speaking of, there's an open one right there. Oh, well, it's not there's... leaking, so Greg's probably not there yet. Yeah, but if it's not leaking, then it means that they can jump out of it. That's also true. Hey, trucker, how are you doing? Uh, oh, did they have to just lead back here. Okay. Uh, come on, pretty boy, put your back into it. <laughs> uh, I can put some... Uh, Flame into it if it needs to be. Okay, I, I think the game is just go, is going. Get on with. Oh, the tension is high. Yeah. Um, you're not here, Greg. We are not the streamers you're looking for. On first yeah, try! Yeah, yeah. No override, it can walk into here. That's ghasts. Another one of those. And they're back in defense. Uh, anyways, how are you doing, trucker? 
probably undergoing a bit less stress than I am at the moment. Since I'm finding so much stuff, I may as well use some... Here. Uh, not enough of those. Always need to be keeping these tapped up. There, there, and there. Can make even more. Okay, don't mind if I do. Okay, that'll do for now. I hope. Oh yeah, welcome to the stream, trucker. It, oop, give me that. And uh, yeah, we named the, we named the xenomorph Greg. Uh, there, 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 and there. I like that those the symbols are always in the same split places. Is my exit open, Ricardo? Ricardo, is my exit clear? Great. want to heal up. Not craft. Not that. That. Get yep. the door. The door. How? Oh, it, it got lured by the sound. It <laughs> was fucking close. Holy! Yeah. It, yes, there is only one fucking around with this entire station. It's bringing the whole place down. It doesn't particularly help that the place was also cutting corners everywhere. Yeah, literally and, and figuratively, since they were decommissioning the place. Yeah, and apparently we're using a lot of very outdated tech, even by the, their own words, outdated tech. Okay, Greg's fucking off that way. Okay, I could I could just run past the Joe since they can only power walk after us, but that would that would lure Greg over. And again, I could probably set off that fuel. I probably not want to set off that fuel. But yeah, that that is something there is over pressurizing. If I, if I so much as touch that, that's going to that's going to explode. I almost forgot that he can hang out in vents. Oh, and I I could have just shortcut through that. Okay, that must be him in the vents. I'd rather not be live bait again, but not much choice, eh? 
Uh, we could use rum. Why me? For I the one with an axe. And also, I don't think uh, Greg would consider me hostile or anything. They probably think we wanted to say him. Or that you were pets. I just hold you in front of me so to avoid him. Oh dear. Okay, that's a lot of movements. Okay. First off. Save station. Yes. Second, never use a shotgun against a xenomorph. Especially not yeah. up close. That was the flamethrower. And you survived. <sighs> well, flamethrower burns it, doesn't explode it. Yeah. Okay. I think we might be in the clear, otherwise you would have ducked out of the ducts already. They say that there's something appears. Yeah, uh, what's your protein truck with this? With the asserting uh, comment only one? Yeah, here's the problem. It can be worse with just one. But there's what? only one. That means after a while it will change into a queen. So the just one can turn just escalate it very quickly. <laughs> For a second, I thought the hair was getting jumped. <clears throat> By Rob? No, Sorry about that, I coughed. Yeah. Yeah, bless yeah. you again, Rob. Yeah, part of how your uh, how your mic picked it up thought uh, made me think it was <laughs> Greg hissing. I can see how that, uh, <laughs> how you would do, make that mistake. Yeah. Uh, and these are arms. Trucker, this is why de they designed self-destruction spacecraft. Yeah. Yep, yep. Come on, motherfucker. I was moving away. Going to send Greg running. God. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't survive for long. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm, not sure. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to phase through the floor. Uh, another one's there now. How, how did they... Uh, I'm not even going to ask how... The fucker can get... <laughs> Jesus! Mm. Get something <coughs> off. Get zoomed tight. Bless you! Like, you've been sneezing a lot on this stream! Yeah, I think I'm getting sick. This fucking weather. Also, this guy is dead! Yeah. No, really. What gave that away? Nah, I just thought, holy shit, he's holy shit, you burned him alive. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, we, we did not do that. <sighs> and that's not uh, here I said. Behind uh, us. What's up? <laughs> Greg, no. Bad Greg. Damn it. Uh just before I could pull out the flamer. Yeah, uh, flamer? Yes. Someone been playing 40k. And I think you should check the time, Captain. 
Uh, yeah, but, we should we should probably call it here then. Yeah, probably for the best. Also, yeah. fun fact: uh, in the game Space Marine and its sequel, the Melta guns are effectively the equivalent of the shotguns. I think what's also the yep. same in Bolt Gun. Yep. Though, funny enough, if I remember correctly, the Imperium does have shotguns, like regular shotguns. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought the Metagos as shotguns, more of heavy duty lasers. I think I'm going to need to move my mic a bit because Ink has been headbutting it. Yeah, probably. And, and now it's a bit out of alignment, it seems. <laughs> also, okay. Excuse me, did Room sneeze every time the Xenomorph was near? <laughs> Not really. Alright, otherwise I would say you are allergic to Greg. Uh, would have been useful, but not too, not that useful. <laughs> yes. Well, if you sneeze, then the thing is going to hear. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I'm still unsure on if this game makes you, uh, yeah, listens to the mic or not. And we'll rather not find out. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> apparently, from you. Hmm? Apparently, the Xeno, you know, apparently the. The warrior, the soldier version, the ones we see in Aliens. Yeah. The those are apparently capable of using a deadly neurotoxin on their tail, but we never really see them do it. <laughs> yeah, this is because apparently... people tend to die before they can you know, that can take effect. Yeah. Oh gods. Okay, let's see. Before we end the raid, of course, we're looking for someone to raid, uh, and it's a my... bit busy. Before hmm? we end the raid? Yep, before we end the stream. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. We have the Siren Ivy who is playing Zoo uh, Zucosis. Uh, we have Rem the Wolf playing the Quarry. Uh, that's a card game, I think. That's the newest Star Wars, which is turning out to be not that good. Um, I forget who we raided last time. It wasn't Cider. Uh, they are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus at the moment. Uh, and as a fourth option, we have Theory Pop playing Silent Hill 2. Let me check if the there remake. is the remake or not. Uh, apparently, the during, the last, <laughs> during the last during the last during the last stream uh, or the one before that, uh, uh, <clears throat> we saw someone uh, streaming the Silent Hill 2 as well. And I said that the remake hadn't come out yet. It had a, exactly come out that day. Hmm. And this looks like the remake. Okay. <clears throat> Any of those sound of interest then, or shall I take a pick? I will vote the captain to take a pick. And Siren, uh, Siren Ivy changed game to Red Dead Redemption 2, it seems. Hmm. Okay, let's go say hi to Cider. Okay. Right. Copy. Go to our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. <laughs> thank you, Trucker, who is to go back to work. Good luck with that. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Knight. Thank you, Jess. Thank you... Uh, I forgot the name. Quickly, let me quickly scroll. Merly Whirly. Thank you as well. And... and yeah, big trucker. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, is that I'll a bot I missed? Like oh, no, that... <laughs> see you next time, Rom, and hopefully I'll have your <laughs> your new pick up by then. Hopefully. Be safe, Rom. You guys too. Uh, it seems that was someone with the raid that I missed. Uh, the official King Willex. <laughs> Thank you for watching as well. And that's about it. So, or at least that I can see in here. Yeah, and mm. thank you, Trucker. <laughs> That's the third time now. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, sounded like you mumbled it first. Uh, okay. And, of course, yeah, thank you as well to Ram and to you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Uh, thank you all for joining and watching this madness. And, yeah, we'll continue with this on Thursday, hopefully. And, yeah, in the weekend, we'll continue with, uh, <laughs> with Dark Side Detective. If I get the feeling that it's going to run longer than uh, than the time we have, or that it might. And if it does, mm, should we 
should we finish it first or should we uh, alternate between uh, it and uh, Cyber Sleuth? Or maybe we'll move it to the main week until we're done with it, then go back to Warcraft. Yeah, I say we finish it. We could move it uh, to finish it uh, before we return to Warcraft. Yeah. Hopefully we won't need to, but we'll have to see. <clears throat> for now, though, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for Sinmove Seagulls. <laughs> and the Working Joes. Because they, well, they work on your throat by strangling you. Phrasing.